A big story in Bellevue tonight. Hundreds of children need a new place to go because their early education center will close. It's the first program on the chopping block in the Bellevue Public School District. KTV News Watch Evans, Melissa Fry, live with reaction from parents and the superintendent. Well, Bellevue Public School District needs to cut $4.5 million from its budget next year. Closing the Early Childhood Center only saves a fraction of that, but it takes away from hundreds of Bellevue families. Learning through play pays off, but Bellevue's Early Education Center doesn't. The school district says it does not have the funding to keep it open. I had tears in my eyes, I'm not going to lie. Danny DeMars brings her three kids to the center about three times a week. Ashton, the oldest, it's a helicopter. is in preschool. Any further preparation for kindergarten is extremely important to mom. And they do crafts and they sing songs with the teacher. The center's open to any Bellevue family for free. In fact, it's an extra early childhood education program. But Superintendent Frank Harwood says the district does not have the ability to fund anything that it's not required to. So we haven't seen uh, grants that would, would apply to this particular program. And two others, the Success Center for students who have been suspended and the Instrumental Music Program at Bellevue's three middle schools. Each school band will lose one teacher who will be reassigned within the district. Although we're going to try to take care of everything without actually having layoffs, those kinds of things, uh, we will have to have more student, or I mean more teacher and, and other staff transfers than typical, which also is, um, is not a pleasant thing, but uh, uh, it's, it's better than the alternative. Parents like DeMars don't want an alternative to the education center, so they've started an online petition to keep it open. This place is amazing, and I don't know, you know what we're going to do without it. Now, the superintendent doesn't believe that parents paying for the center to stay open will work. Again, the district has to cut another $4 million from its budget. The school board is doing what it can to keep from cutting jobs, but there is no guarantee. We'll know more at the next school board meeting in one month. Back to you. Melissa, thanks. No matter where you go,